Well, after enough funds had been raised, the Brainerd Water Tower has finally started construction. The water tower will receive a lightweight rubber material to replace old brick as it's rough. Reporter Hanky Hazelton has more. Known as a symbol of the city, the Brainerd Water Tower was built in 1918 and is 104 years old. After much needed attention and money, plans of restoration for the tower began. 2014 is when the original studies and work started uh, to figure out what was going on. Uh, it's been about the last four years of the actual committee looking to fundraise and go after grant opportunities. The reason it has taken a while is because everything costs money. To make this project possible, grants were needed in order to buy the supplies and construction services. Anytime that you start working with uh, grant opportunities and that sort of thing, uh, it just takes time. So as a group, what we did was we really set our goals on trying to figure out a way to find matching funds out there and use the fundraising dollars and then uh, get some actual, actual extra oomph uh, to get the project going. Now that they have the funds, they're in the process of putting a lightweight roof on the inside. What they'll need to do is remove about six feet of uh, brick layer that's in there and then once that's done the metal supports will be put in and then the roof itself. Once it has been completed there is hope to let the public see a glimpse on what has been accomplished but the challenging part is how. It's tough because it's actually attached to a private business, um, but we're hopeful that we can come up with something to give people a chance to get in there and at least take a look up. Uh, probably won't be able to climb the stairs for uh, insurance purposes, but at least giving people an opportunity. With the tower being the first of its kind in the world, Brandard hopes others will see how important restoring this landmark will always be. When we got started, there was a lot of people that said, oh, it's going to cost too much money, you know, we're not going to be able to finish the project. And you know, we were able to go out there and not just uh, fundraise for it, but then go find money from the Minnesota Historical Society. And it's just a testament to how when people put their mind to things, they can accomplish just about anything. Reporting in Brainerd, Hanky Hazelton, Lakeland News. There is no set date for completion, but they're estimating hoping the project will be done in about five weeks. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.